everybody it's robert again i want to say thanks for liking and subscribing to my channel if you haven't been to my channel before i talk about my truck my cars other projects reviews i have like any electronic reviews that i do things that i get i like to talk about it so if you're interested in those kind of things please like and subscribe below and check out my channel i have my tacoma here but the items that i'll be talking about actually can work on any car especially when you're stranded don't have AAA close to you or you just need to get things done soon. As you can see here, these are 50 cal ammo cans. And I got these because I had a lot of good feedbacks. Not only it's for things such as ammo, of course, but you can put first aid kits, um, any type of other survival things. And the things that I want to put in there are electronics. So I want to keep it nice and dry. So let's see what's in this one. This I got from Amazon. If you're interested, check the description below for the link. But this is the Viar 88P. Um, I was looking at different specs. They do have a lot of different kind of compressors. And there aren't, there aren't many out there that have this kind of positive reviews. So I want to give this a try it comes with little isolation feet as you can see here built in so that could be on the ground or i could actually leave it on top of my ammo can which is cool a couple of these inserts got a gauge what they do recommend it's got the, the air cables what they're recommending is that instead of using a cigarette lighter because this is a high amperage compressor you gotta have a direct battery connection and you should have the vehicle running for that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And the reason why is when we're off-roading, we want to air down. So airing down is dropping the air pressure down to a certain level that's lower than normal. So you have better grip on your off-road adventures. It's going to give more play, so when you're going over rocks or sand, it's going to flatten out more here, and it's going to give you better traction when turning. But the problem is, is that when you're done with the day, you need to get back on the road, and you can't be running 15, 20 PSI. You got to get at least 30, 35 PSI to be safe on the road, and that's where this comes in. First thing I'm going to do, I got to air this down. Positive always goes first, and then you would put the ground. Okay. Yeah, turn Jesse, do you want to start the truck? Yeah. I'm going to stop the truck right now. Let's start the truck. Put it, make sure it's in neutral. Yeah, yeah. You want to turn it on? Yeah. I'm going to make loud noise with Eddie. One second. Okay, go ahead and turn it on. Right there. So it's saying it's 37 there. So that was pretty fast at 37. I don't have one of those cool temperature things, but I can tell you, touching this, it's pretty hot. But that was a fast uh, blow up. So definitely this is a good bang for the buck compressor for you. I actually went to uh, Toys for Tots Toyota Meat today, and one of the raffle drawings was this exact model, the 88P. If I ever thought it was good enough for them to give it as a drawing prize, 
fill up air on off-roading trucks, then I think it's good enough for me. I want to say thanks again for liking and subscribing. Please comment below with any of your questions that you do have. Again, I appreciate everything. Please stay tuned for more. Another one.